All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to part number four of The House of Da Vinci. And I do believe it could be the uh, finale tonight. I think we've uh, got one more room to go. I think the room that we're in right here, we found the last of the achievements, which kind of makes me think that uh, this is it. But um, yeah, without further ado, let us jump in. And uh, already we can see some uh, bits and pieces going on here. Although we can't... Uh, can we turn anything? Let's have a look. Okay, so we need to engage some gears. We can't do anything on this side at the moment. So we need to find another... Gear wheel or of some description, I guess, for lack of a better term. And that'll allow us to engage some of the different ones here. Actually, can I not? I'm not able to do this, actually. Let's think about what we're doing here. It's kind of engaging different bits and pieces. That just moves all of them. Mika, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. You are well this very fine day. Yeah, I do think this would be easier if I actually got the... I, would, I don't even know if I can do it with this setup here, but... Definitely with the other handle, we would then be able to engage the other side. So maybe let's not worry too much about this as it stands at the moment. Here it looks like we have a similar mechanism. Well, we got the cogwheel. Bit of a lazy day, but maybe we all, yeah, we all need a lazy day every now and again. I can uh, relate. Especially like as of recently, if you've been working really hard on your uh, essays and things and you're feeling a little bit burnt out, then it's uh, completely understandable having a lazy day, Mika. Do not feel bad at all. All right, so now that we have this, can I fit it on this end? No. Okay, so there must be somewhere else then that we can do stuff with. Let's have a look here. Looks like there is something here to slide down on this one. like we can interact with this at the moment but I did see over here there was a there, there it is so there was a thing to do here Uh, but yeah, I'm 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 good. Thanks, Mika. Thank you for asking. All right, so again, here looks like we need another. Okay, I've got this. Loads of sense. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just I've been busy working on some different bits and pieces as of late, and. Um, That's sort of... I 
Okay, so... Am I lining all of these up then with this? Yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got a feeling that I'm pretty close to finishing it up, if I'm honest. I can't move that one anymore. I don't know if we've got to get like specific slots here or if it's just we'll just be alright with like the as long as one of them is matched up here. I'm sure we will soon find this out. Then we could bring that one down, I guess. That one's gonna go up. Down again. And we're in a pickle. We're all in a pickle. That one can't move. Hello, hello, Doctor is Prime. What is going on, buddy? Hope you're well. How have you been, sir? Not even sure that one can move anymore, can it? I can. I want another one that's like short as this one, so maybe this will work. Yeah, this should work. Now, assuming I just need to line up all the holes. There we go. It's your first SMF project and you've been positive received. That's good to hear, buddy. Really good to hear. Um, I've been good though myself. Thank you very much for asking. This is the place where the explosion happened. I've got a message from Leo. We were probably not destined to meet in this time. The sun is already setting in the night and the, the night is approaching and I fear that the messages could not deliver my letter. The messenger, sorry, could not deliver my letter. If you ever get to this place and observe carefully in the indices I left you with, you may be able to open the gate of time. The Oculus Tempest has only allowed us to look into the past. Fragilities is now following. Thank you very much, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the community. Thank you very much for the following. Appreciate that. They tried to seize my device, but without success. Therefore, they will need yours to try to change the past in their favor. You can open the gate. You have to act. Oh, if you can open the gate, you have to act quickly, otherwise the substance might explode. I hope I'm, we meet on the other side. Alright, let's see what we've got then. We've got a wheel with four handles. That can maybe go on the other side. Nothing can go on there at the moment. But some device here that we can turn, and we can use that, it seems, to heat up an object that's in here. I'm guessing we're going to need some sort of lens to sit in there. I 
the empty test vessel and we can rotate that. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, we'll definitely be trying to take a look at it Mika for sure. Okay, so this looks like it will open up at some point. Maybe once we've done all these things, the cogs will turn and the mechanics will open up that. So we'll keep that in mind for now. And I think here, okay, here we've got the old take from one transfer to the other sort of puzzle. Yeah, so we need to fill a certain amount up here. Not sure at this moment in time though how that operates. Can I get rid of this please? Thank you. Yes, there was a puzzle exactly the same as that in Quern. Doesn't look like there's anything sneaky hidden in that at the moment. No worries, Doctress. No worries at all. Have a good evening, buddy. Okay, so we did that. Now we're going to need to bring it down somehow, which I guess is this mechanism. I'm guessing we can examine the wooden box. Hmm. Not at the moment. There's going to be a way to open this at some point. There has to be. Okay, so what else have we got over here? Not a lot. We do have this wheel with a hexagonal hole in it. Maybe if we head down the stairs here, we may be able to uh, use this now over on machine number three. Alright, so now we have this gear engaged, we can now move these two. Now, interestingly, oh no, we're going we're gonna to move three of these. Then if we now if we engage all three, we got to do a final rotation. And they are all matched up. There we go. Excellent. That is the second latch unlocked. Also, this one's uh, leaking a little bit. I'm wondering if we can catch some of this. A few moments later. 
Alright, we've filled the test file. And let's head back upstairs then now. Because if we put this on the um, that little thing, we can maybe heat this up. Yeah. I do feel like with, with these sort of games, it's um, it is very much like a fine balance you have to try and find. With regards to like the difficulty and stuff, I wonder if the box fits on there actually. Thinking about this, yeah, there we go. There's something purple inside. Okay. Small lens. Needs something there, so maybe here though. I'm thinking here, we're going to use the lens on here. We just need to bring everything into focus. And that's opened up this. Liquid from Reservoir number three. It's a bizarre liquid, that's for sure. Got the medallion, which is missing a piece out of it. And has a octagonal shape on the back. Yep, sure that's octagonal. Right, so can this fit on here anywhere? No, it cannot. Alright, so if we head back downstairs now, can we use this in the second vat? Is, sorry, not the same one, the first fat. Fat number one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to slide this around to make uh, a line all the way to the bottom. Okay, so we need to work out then where we can use this. That's going to create a certain amount of pressure. Oh, very much so. Um, I, I, I don't think like this sort of puzzle game is like everybody's cup of tea, if I'm honest. Something's going to fit in there, and then we can slide that across. Because um, this is more... I suppose you could like compare this sort of puzzle game to almost like a jigsaw puzzle, where you've got all of the pieces to solve, um, to, to solve the problem right in front of you from the beginning. You just need to like find the right piece at the right time. Whereas with um, other sort of puzzle games, it's all about um, 
identifying and working through the set of steps to kind of get to where you need to go. This sort of puzzle game you can pretty much solve just literally with like trial and error if you so wanted to. I need something in there then. Nerding Nation, what's going on? And Deathwish is in the house. What's going on guys? Hope you both very well this evening. Hope you all had a fantastic day, or are having a fantastic day. Alright, so there is nothing else to do with that at the moment, it seems. So, not sure how that is released. Obviously, we're going to have to warm this up as well, I think. Whatever it is, it's missing from the middle. So, we need to find something that goes in the middle here. say about this? I can't remember what it said about this now. A fixed chest linked with a shaft mechanism of the invention. It's linked with the shaft to the invention down below. Ah, oh, maybe we need to do something then. What's directly underneath this? Just trying to think. Wasn't the... Um, well, we're done with this because we can't interact with this anymore. So that's got th four in each. And that's got two, three, sorry, two, four, five. Okay, so I'm look I'm definitely looking for a handle there. And that's obviously how we transfer the liquids. Okay. So, it, if if I'm right about this, the explode. Or so maybe there's a handle down below. Then if this was another one of those machines. Then handle may have dropped through the floor. 
potentially. Let's go and take a look back. I'm guessing Leonardo probably used that um, that device and it blew up and that's what caused the explosion perhaps. Internet problems are the worst. Right, I can't interact with that wall anymore, so... And what's that explosion? It would have been here somewhere. But I'm not seeing the lever anywhere, so I don't think that's the option. Wouldn't it be great if the rest of the world had internet like America? This looks like a draw handle. Um, but I'm unless there's like a hidden item to interact with on here, which I don't think there is. I don't think there is anything to interact with down here anymore. The only thing I thought was obviously like putting this in here. So that looks like it definitely slides across, but that won't fit. So do believe we're looking for something at the top here. So let's look at things more carefully. That mechanism I believe I'm done with. This one, however, is um, quite interesting. It seems like it's connected to something down below. But I don't have a way to open anything up for that at the moment. I then have this, which is... I don't think we can interact with this until we've done something and added something to this though. That's... We need some sort of crank or lever. 
to be able to do that. Thing here, though. It's fitting in its place. So now that I've done that, I wonder if it shows me anything different though if I take off the heat. Can't take the bottle back. No. Nothing. I can't see anything when I'm doing that. You naughty boy, Deathwish. is operating. I don't think this will give us anything different, but it's worth a look. Never-ending flames win. I guess once everything is right, there's going to be like a certain amount of pressure built up. So, that case, I 
Am I missing something then with what I can see? I feel like I'm missing with something then. Um, what I can see from this one. Like the time moving mechanic here. Pull it down. Literally all that does. to interact with this. Pretty sure I don't need to use this again. However, the fact that the game is still allowing me to interact with this makes me think otherwise. A lot of the time in the game, I've noticed that um, when you're done with an item, it will stop you from interacting with it like this. I can't interact with this. It seems a bit strange that I'm able to <laughs> I always makes me w worry that I need to like do something else with that because it's still allowing me to like drill down into that box. As opposed to um, uh, anywhere else. Sorry. Is there anything I can do here?
28,464. Um, I can't remember, Mick. I don't think it did. But I may be wrong. But here I can't interact with this because that segment is done. Wow, you your your points ramped up quickly, Deathwish. Oh my god, he admitted he was hacking. All the Twitch points. <laughs> ah, okay, so is there anything like here that I can use from trouble? Yes, no. I also got my bearings completely wrong because the machine is the machine is here. that we haven't seen before. Not sure what it means exactly, but it's something new that we haven't seen. Don't seem to be seeing like any way useful.
doesn't appear to be anything to do with there. Uh, is it bread related, Mika? Alright, far away with a vague hint, Deathwish, because I, I. I don't know. Moment in time. I'm a bit stuck, so yeah, I'll take a vague hint. Not bread related. You looked at everything, but there's one spot you were at that you didn't zoom in on. Cucumber and watermelon. How many airboats do you have now? 30,230. I'm going to say it's either 30, um, 
30, 44, 28, or 40. One of those at the end. 28, 30, 40, or 44. No? Okay. Maybe you got a plus 70 then. So maybe you did... Um, maybe it's 30,300. Oh, you only get plus 60? What, you're 30,290? I, I don't know, I don't know, like, the exact science of points. I, I know I'm a tier 2 on a channel, and I get, like, every... Um, periodically, I get, um... I get 70 points. For the channel. So it was 30,300. Uh, you get 350 right at the start of the stream, Deathwish. So you get like, um, if you, um, if you're at the last stream and then you come again for this stream, you'll get a bonus for like a, can, like a, it's not a loyalty bonus, but it's kind of like a loyalty bonus sort of thing. Again, though, for a tier two, you get 450. So. That's it, a streak. Watch streak. That's why it's called um, Nerdin. Thanks, buddy. I used to get 450 for a tier four, tier one. Okay, interesting. just clicking everything right here yo atom what is going on buddy welcome welcome hope you're well I should have that as a as a command, shouldn't I? On my bot, I should put the um, the uh, the impulse. Is it impulse eighty? I should put that command as a bot command, so that if anyone uses it, it just like posts an airboat in the chat. Deathwish has been here far too long. Um, well, we've just not been been here long enough. <laughs> I still need to have a look at yours, Mika, and fix yours. I 
Oh, here we go. I want to know. You tell me. Please tell me. I want to become famous. Of course I want to buy followers. Who doesn't want to buy followers to make themselves look popular? Oh, too late. Death wish, uh, threw them out. And how am I going to become famous now, Death Wish? Um. Oh, hello. The thing. I was sent to wanted vague, but I think too vague. Well, down, death. I often have this conversation with my wife, Nerdin, um, that. It almost seems like you never hear of a, or you're always, sorry, you always hear of like celebrities who are either doing drugs or going to rehab or have drink problems or are in trouble with the law. And if that's what sort of like fame does to you and drives you to, I'm quite happy just being a regular Joe. <laughs> I've, uh, I got no interest in. You know, kind of go into uh, prison and being on drugs and I mean I, I get that like there's a lot of pressure and stuff I get that but I think everybody has to deal with pressure in their lives and um, yeah I mean we don't all turn to drink and drugs and stuff Yeah. The problem is, though, as well, I think a lot of the time is that, um, what did I say? Yeah, I saw that before. Oh, just in the, into the middle of the ring, room. Um, what was I going to say? Um... Sure, I was gonna say. Sorry, guys. I lost my train of thought. Probably gonna be something to do along the lines of like the, how the paparazzi don't make things easy for celebrities. 
people in the public eye. It's the Port Ponky. How we doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. You believe in the ish of death were. is the worst part. Alright, Deathwish, you didn't answer my question. What I said about your vague hint. Um, is your vague hint rega re relating to an item at the top or an item at the bottom? The top? At the top. Hello, Mr. Fab. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Looks at it the least. The box? looked at the least well I don't believe I've looked at anything like any less than anything else I don't feel like I have anyway when I get the other bottle. Bobs. We can't do anything with the flame.
clues from the shield puzzle. If you're referring to like the shield puzzle though, then I assume you mean that there's things, there's some symbols or something etched into the, into wood somewhere, but No, the game feels like it needs to keep telling me that this is where the explosion happened. I'm, I'm quite, I, I can grasp that game. Honky factor. Not like the X factor, but better. I 
I am a god. <laughs> oh yeah, I hadn't noticed that to be fair. That's good. That's a good spot. Um, uh, <clears throat> Uh, I found it. Oof. So, now what do we do? I think we can probably put this on this vat down here now. Not what I need to do. to look at the thing don't I yeah no I know I'm dumb I don't don't like for all of the other ones as well That not guy. What a tool. There we go. It's frustrating because I remember to use it apart from like where it's actually necessary. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh huh. -huh. Flying machine model, and I guess that's going to. We're going to be able to jumble this up. Oh, that's for the other thing. I thought we'd jumble that up, but no, it's. Um, sits on here, and then. We are going to. Yeah. I guess we're going to like readjust where it sits. This was the symbol, wasn't it? Yep, there we go. That symbol right there that we saw on the vat down below.
Alright, so now I've got the full test vial. Put that in here. Then we can have a look at this. And hopefully that will unlock this, which we was uh, correct about. Since the master mixed the substance using the extract ratio, exact ratio of three different ingredients. Golden handle as a octagonal, sorry, shape. Okay, so this is for the thing down here, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, so there was three There's three ingredients, wasn't there? All right, so we need to find the right order for this. Alright, so we need to work out the right formula. Sort of clue. Right, so it's saying that we've seen the symbol somewhere.
Definitely not these symbols, is it? Hold on. Or four two four two eight two four eight. Hello, Mr. Fab. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good evening. Sleep well. I'm assuming that's what we've got to do here. We've got to like make a two, a four, and an eight. Don't know what order they go in. I had it. I suppose what I should really do is just like try and make the numbers Because they're all connected, there's no way to separate them out. Four to eight.
Alright, well. I'm not sure I understood the symbol bit, but at least we got half of it. I guess only one of them did it. I thought that I might be just like uh, do the six in the right order sort of thing. Okay. Oh, this is the bit. Um... Five, three. I guess it was four, but because that's now broken. So can't take that yet. Was anything else changed up top here to allow me to do anything different? Have a look at this over here. We've got a spare part. Is that literally all this did? Well, I have to say that's rather anticlimactic. 
Five, three, four, six. Five, three, four, one, two, six. Parts of the time machine are running. What now? Now I need a lever. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? I need the two. Yeah, I need to go from lowest to highest, don't I? Okay. Uh, it just moves however much space you've got. It's um, it's an age old. I, th this this has been used quite a few times in games previously. 
Now, I'm pretty sure if I just double check here. Here, only three, four, five. I don't know why I thought I needed to get two in there, to be fair. Kind of screwed me up a little bit. It's not a difficult puzzle, but I'm just like really making a meal of this. Uh, not necessarily a maximum of five, no. the lever. Where did you come from? No, oh, he followed me in. Having wandered some distance among gloomy rocks, I came to the entrance of a great cavern. Two contrary emotions arose in me. Fear and desire. Fear of the threatening dark cavern. Desire to see whether there were any marvelling things in it. There we go. That is the House of Da Vinci, guys. The, the first game. Um, so, yeah, first and foremost, a... Massive thank you to uh, Mika, of course, for the donation of this game. Um, as a lot of you know, I do, I'm do. i a massive fan of like these point-and-click games, especially The Room. Um, thoroughly enjoy playing The Room. Although, wait, we're maybe not done here. Let's, hold on a second. No, the Oculus is destroyed is smashed. Oh dear. I congratulate you finished House of Da Vinci in 6 hours and 41.22. As Master Leonardo Da Vinci once said, art is never finished, only abandoned. We promise that the game art from Blue Brain Games will continue to be developed. Our joint adventure is just beginning. Alright, so um, yeah, like I said, um, massive thanks straight away to Mika for the, the donation of this game. Really enjoyed it. Like I said, enjoy these point and click games, especially The Room. Big fan of The Room. Um, 
this one was good. I, I enjoyed this one. And I have to say, though, there are some really well hidden like things in this. Um, I think like when we moved into like the crypt after we'd been out into the garden, there were some items in there which didn't even get prompts. And that's, I think, when I started to realize, okay, then they're, they're not messing about here. There's going to be like some real serious hidden stuff here that we really need to pay attention to. The first one was on that picture frame where we had to slide across the edge of the picture frame to get that tool. Um, and then obviously in that final room there where we've just been tonight as well, um, finding that little panel on the side of that table, um, that certainly took us quite a bit of time. Um, yeah so it's really um it was really good job of like hiding the stuff really well you gotta be really really observant to make sure you can actually find everything so um i think it's probably it is i think it's on par with the room to be fair um i don't think i could like pick a clear sort of winner out of the two um I would kind of say though I, I did find some of the some of like I will say some of because some of it wasn't but some of like the progression and some of the like was a bit really linear and was probably a little bit too easy on this one. Like for in instance we'd pick up an object and literally like use it straight away kind of thing. So um, yeah, th there's maybe some um, easier moments in this one when comparing it to the room, but that might have been or it might be um addressed and improved in the second game um but obviously we don't know because we only played the first minute but um all in all guys i have uh thoroughly enjoyed this one so yeah like i said once again thank you massive thanks to mika for the donation of this one uh maybe before we go actually before we go it's not that one this one uh how about we just go and check out some of the uh the achievements and um I did look at these after my first playthrough. I looked at the first couple. And um, it's a very, very cool indeed area. So all of the blueprints that we found throughout the game, we can kind of like just look at um, what each of these things were. So first and foremost over here, we actually have like a printing press. So I know how this one works, but we basically put a thing there and then they get sort of printed like that. And the second one was over here. This was the file cutter. If I can remember how this works, we put a put that in there. And then we crank this up. And then that just sort of like drops down and like creates the notches in the uh, file itself which is pretty cool one thing i probably will say about like this game i kind of feel i don't know if it's because it's obviously optimized to be played on mobile as well but i did kind of find with this game that in places the movement is really not great like when you're trying to rotate stuff especially it's um it can be quite tricky sometimes and it just feels like you're not really doing anything um, and you have to like go really, really slowly, I find at times. All right, so this is the uh, the organ. Goes for this instrument that melds the elegance of a clavichord with the maj majesty of a violin. The original idea probably came to me when I heard a birdie gurdy playing. I made three designs. The last of them uses four rotary cylinders, which are moved by a pedal. I'm like, is it the hurdy gurdy? I think it's hurdy gurdy, isn't it? My uh, I can play both single tones and chords, and it's uh, from 1488 to 
Right next up, we got the flying machine, which is 87 to 89. This guy became fascinated, or has always fascinated men, for it is a place which is now unreachable. I want to approach the sky, but do not wish to end up like Icarus. My design is light and strong and is anatomically reminiscent of a bird's wing, which is of utmost importance. The movement must be fast enough for the compressed air not to escape from under the wings. I guess that's all that one does. Demonstrates like the wings being used. That's good to hear, though. The revolving grid bridge, 87 to 89, already presented several different designs for light and strong bridges. Call Il Moro, but only after working for Caesar Borgia, also known as Il Valentino, could I realize some of my concepts. The revolving bridge is a very interesting creation. It's very easy operation and firmness allows it to be used in specific locations where nav navigability of watercourse is needed. First you must open the bridge with the wheel on the right. Okay. Down cool. I like that they like took the time to put some of his inventions in here as well. Scythe Chariot. I presented this war machine in my first letter to Lud Ludovico Slorza, the Duke of Milan, by studying different war machines from classical era, which was a great inspiration for me. I conceived this invention. The machine is pulled by a horse with a rider who can pinpoint just the right place of an attack. Otherwise, the machine could be d as deadly for allies <laughs> as it is for enemies. Jeez, I want to be. Uh, I don't want to be stood anywhere near that. That's for sure. Pretty darn lethal. Yeah, the readability is just terrible. Especially, like I said uh, yesterday, I think it was for someone like me, who is um, really a terrible reader at the best of times. And um, yeah, I did read that the other night. But there we go, guys. That is the end of um, The House of Da Vinci. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. And... Um, Yes, yeah, Saturday night we'll be back with a, another stream where we'll be probably pick up some more portal maps and then next week we'll decide what we're going to move on to next and what the next Let's Play game will be. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Like I said, everybody for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe and happy gaming. <laughs>